Hey guys, so I'm going to do a comparison video on these SMD soldering microscopes. I took photos with all four of them and I'm just going to overlay the photos. So we can look at this one, 3 megapixels. Now this one, 3 megapixels. Now this one, 12 megapixels. And this one, 12 megapixels. So it's a pretty big misconception that megapixels are more important than anything else when you're talking about a camera, but the actual camera sensor size is just as important as the resolution because you can see that both of these are 12 megapixel photos, but this produces much more detailed photos. Okay, so now I put solder paste on a toothpick and you can see what the photos look like for those. So we'll start with this one. Now this one. Now this one. And this one. And of these two, I would say if you're really going just for a budget microscope that, you know, really any you know, these two would be fine. This one, I think, takes better pictures than that one. And, uh, but it's got a smaller screen. But if that doesn't matter to you, then, you know, that's perfectly fine for soldering. But this one, even though this one takes better photos, this one has a better working range. You know, you're not going to be soldering anything that small, so it would actually be a bit further off the table. Whereas this one's still really not going to have the range you need for actual soldering. So. This first one is about $60. I got it on Amazon. And it its base is just awful. So I had to put it on a different base. It comes with this sticky base that looks like it belongs on a vehicle's dash. Which it probably does. And uh, it just doesn't have the range that this needs to go up and down. Like when you mount this to this um, mount here, it's just too close to the table. You can't get further, uh, far enough away without stacking it on stuff. So, but anyway, it is a 4.3 inch uh, display. It has a battery. Um, this is the focus knob here. And it takes three megapixel photos it has an SD card on the side here. There's a um, there's a adjustment for the light, and it takes 720p video. It says 1080p, but it doesn't actually take 1080p videos. When you when you look at the file on the computer, it only shows up as 720p, and it also claims to take five megapixel photos but they're only three megapixels. So they're either intentionally lying to sell more units or the firmware is just from some other camera. So this next unit here is a 2.3 inch. Uh, both of these are, you know, when I bought them it said um, Cooler Tron, but it seems like these two microscopes, they're $60 each, they're um, made by uh, a lot of different people or one person one company and uh, they just kind of slap a name on it but anyway this one has pretty similar specs to that it has a battery it uh, has a 2.3 inch display it records 720p and this but this one doesn't actually lie about that it says 720p so the base for this one the, um, there's a lock in the back, and if you unlock that, you can uh, adjust it up and down. So, but the working height for this microscope is awful. Like, you can't really expect to do any work under it, because it just, you don't have any clearance at all. And whoever designed, you know, this, could have easily been integrated further up. So the, you know, the, this, you can't really see it, but take it out. 
just the way they did that, if it, uh, the diffuser was much shorter, you'd get a lot better range out of it. But it has an SD card. It's got there's a you know the power buttons. This is the focus. And both of these units, this one and this one, are battery powered. I just have them plugged in for this video. This one also takes three megapixel photos. Um, this one is an Andenstar uh, uh, ADSM201, and uh, it comes with a much nicer stand than both of these. And I've seen these for maybe as low as 150 or so dollars. They're usually 199, but it has a uh, a metal base is fairly small base but it actually records pretty nice video it has uh, it records in 1080p and takes 12 megapixel photos Let's see you can adjust it up and down in the back similar to that in that it has a you know a locking screw in the back but this comes undone and this base is um, all metal. This is this is plastic. Everything's plastic except for the rod in the back here. This is actually um, there's a gear in there. So when you turn the uh, this, you get a much better adjustment. But it's still pretty small. Like for most stuff I do, I still end up putting this on this just because it's easier. Like in the last video, you saw the hot plate I used this camera on the hot plate but it's got a um, a threaded nut for uh, like a camera mount it has an HDMI output so you can output the video to the screen there's a SD card there's buttons and this is the focus dial if you're Going to be using these for soldering then you know at some point you're gonna have uh, you know smoke going up straight to the sensor there's nothing protect protecting this sensor and it comes with a little cap but um, it is uh, it affects the image quality this is actually a piece of glass like a lens you can clean so what's that and this one is uh, the newer version of that model. So this is an Andenstar ADSM 302, and it has an adjustable um, monitor, which is pretty nice. And I like that they they changed several things here. The base is much larger. I like that it's black. This silvery base right here, it actually. I don't like it because it kind of reflects light. If you're just looking at a chip or something, it, uh, the image can get kind of um, foggy. But this black is a lot better choice. The stand is just significantly larger. Like I can see there. And the... Um, This has a much larger range. You see on this model that you could only mount the microscope by the front of the lens and that kind of uh, limited the ability to get lower. The base could only go so low and with this one you have a lot more adjustability. You can adjust the microscope individually on this rack and then um, you can take the microscope off and you'll see it's got a similar um, lens protector that unscrews 
and a much larger tube, which is why um, this has a much improved range over this one. This one, because the tube is longer, you have a longer distance that the actual lens can move. And they're both 12 megapixel cameras, but you'll see the difference in the photos. So both of these units have these flexible LED lights and the older unit had just like a toggle switch for the lights and the newer unit has a like on-off button remote and you can uh, decrease the brightness and increase the brightness. So this unit comes with a remote and you could change modes and you go through the menu, change things on the menu, like exposure and um, other things like that. And you have a digital zoom. All four of these have four times digital zoom. And uh, but unless you actually need to see it for working, then you might as well just like if you're just taking pictures, then you can crop it yourself because that's basically all digital zoom is is cropping the photo. It's not actually zooming in. It's you're you're losing resolution, but if you're working, sometimes that's okay. You don't really need the resolution. You just need it physically larger so you can see it. And you'll see that of these two, the big improvement as well as the bigger base, bigger screen, just better sensor overall is the tube length because they increase this tube length so much, they increase the working distance by quite a bit. So you can actually get you know, really far away and still focus. So let's see. Yeah, so you can see it's not really focusing. My my camera's not focusing on the screen very well. But the you know the working distance there is uh pretty significant. The solder paste, but anyway, that's that's about the distance I would be soldering from. But that's plenty enough to get my soldering iron under there. Or if I want to mount it on that for the hot plate, I could do that. So, like I said, both of these two microscopes output directly with an HDMI cable, and you just hook up a TV or a monitor and they output 1080p and you can see this is about 15 centimeters here and this is the board from you know yesterday's video and the footage from yesterday's video if you watch the SMD soldering video the footage came from this microscope so the 302 also has a few other features that the 201 didn't have. The new unit has a measurement software. I haven't got a uh, chance to mess around with that, but you can also invert. There's different colors and uh, a lot of other features that they've added. So, but. Full disclosure here, I bought all of these microscopes. I already owned all of these microscopes and I was already planning on doing a review of these three. And And, and Star actually sent me this one. It's not a paid review. Um, they just sent it to me and I said that I would do a, a video. But I don't want anyone to think that I am... Um, being forced to say good things about the cameras. It's like anytime anyone ever says a positive thing about a uh, product, they are all of a sudden, you know, oh, you're just saying that because they sent it to you. No, like you can see the pictures and you'll see that these this camera produces better pictures than these. Yeah, this one's more expensive than these other three, but it is a better camera. So. Um, do you need that? Probably not. Most people probably don't. But if you want a high-end 
a digital microscope for your lab or even your company, um, I think this is a pretty good choice. Okay guys, so I hope you liked that video. If you have any questions about any of these microscopes, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll put links in the description for each one of these and uh, I'll see you guys later.